Welcome back to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. And since the beginning of our show, we've had a wonderful relationship with the Dats Restaurant Group. And it's been so exciting to see how the restaurant group has morphed into several different restaurants that people can enjoy here in the Bay Area. And uh, Riverview, another one is coming your way. It's a new concept, but we get to welcome back an old friend, who I about didn't recognize, our dear friend Lee Jasper. Lee, has it been that long that you completely have this new beard now? Too long. It, it, it's been a weird year. <laughs> well, I like the beard. I like the quarantine beard, we're going to call it there. And as you step into this role of executive chef at Donovan's, let's walk back, if you will. Where did this idea come from, and why was it so important for the Dats Restaurant Group to execute this new restaurant? Well, uh, Suzanne and Roger Perry, this was a, they had a steakhouse in mind before they even opened Dad's. And so this has been a long time coming, but, you know, things fell into place and it was time to pull the trigger. And uh, so, yes, I'm proud to be part of it and it's, it's exciting. So you said that the two key words there, it is a steak house. And this is the first of its kind at Dats. But I know the thing that I think is so special about Dats is the special flair you're able to put on dishes. I'm sure the steak house is going to do that. Give us an idea of what people can enjoy. Well, you know, with everything, um, this is kind of a fun idea. This is a beef fat candle. I know that Roger had seen the idea a couple years back. And so we wanted to go with that, you know, full of herbs. So it's aromatic, but it also, you know, acts as a functioning part of, you know, a starting dish, like a bread course. And then, you know, the other side of the spectrum, we have a vegan ceviche that, you know, honestly, you can't tell the difference. It's fantastic. I like that you have vegan options at a steakhouse because I, I feel and would assume that many people feel that they don't want to venture into a steakhouse if they're not some big meat eater. That's not the case. No, not at all. And I mean, it's really, you have to, you have to offer it. And you have to offer to it. it away. Yeah, that sounds broken. No, I think it's great, though. I mean, the key is that you do offer it. You recognize everybody out there that may have different dietary needs and dietary wants, and you're making them feel at home, which is something you always do. Let's talk about the home. Riverview, give people an idea of an exact location. All right, so we are in Riverview. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Winthrop uh, Town Center, man. Which the thing too, Lee, you just got done opening a Dats not too far from there, right? So now you're really showing Riverview some love. Well, we really are. I mean, it's within walking distance and it's a, this whole community has been very receptive to having Dats as part of the community. And, you know, uh, we've seen a lot of anticipation for this concept as well. I can tell. And again, it's interesting to hear the owners always wanted to do a steakhouse and now they're happy. What about the vibe? I want to get that in there real fast. What's the location like? Because so many of your restaurants are so special when you step foot into them. Absolutely. Um, we want it to be approachable. I mean, rustic, but, you know, elevated rustic. You know, we want, we don't want to be intimidating. So, you know, yes, it is a, a nice dining facility, but it's a, it's not going to be a place where you walk in and you, you are intimidated by the menu, per se. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And I, especially for a steakhouse, I'm not a huge meat eater. So sometimes I don't want to go to a steakhouse. So it completely makes sense to me that you're catering to everybody. Um, by the way, you, you talked about the, the candle, which caught my eye because it's clearly not a birthday cake. What else is beside you there? It looks like you have something else like taller beside you. Oh, absolutely. This is. That's the ceviche? Angle. The vegan ceviche. Yes, ma'am. You know. This is an old classic, a crab dip, you know, lump crab. And then, of course, this is our house steak. This is a flat iron steak and a compound butter, lots of garlic, lots of thyme, other herbs. Okay, I'm glad you brought up the steak. That's what people are going to want to know. Any uh, right. secrets you can share with us or what really puts the exclamation point when it comes to your steaks? Ma'am, 100% wood fire. I mean, there's, there's no substitute for it. It's um, a lot of love and, you know, it takes a lot of talent. So I'm very proud of the crew that we have, you know, put together here. My right-hand man, Wallace, I mean, we're going to get it done. It's going to be fun. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Lee. Congratulations on Donovan's again. Opening soon. Stay in touch, okay? Keep the beard. I like it. Absolutely. Take care. Good to see you. <laughs>